Hi everyone and welcome to the Mathsman YouTube channel. In this video today I'm going to be doing a complete guide to simplifying algebraic expressions. Now at the beginning of the video we're going to be starting really simple and we're going to be going through some basic rules that you really must know to be able to do this. And then later in the video we're going to be looking at some more complicated algebraic expressions. So if you already have some kind of knowledge of this then you may want to skip to later on in the video to where it starts getting a bit more complicated. Now this video that I'm doing here today is the first video of a series of um, videos that I'm going to be doing about algebra um, and it's aimed at anyone who's like 11 years old all the way up to 16 or maybe even beyond. So if you would like to see those videos I will post it in the description down below. Feel free to check it out and as always if you did learn something from this video, then please help out the channel by smashing that like button. And then if you'd like to be notified of more weekly videos that I release, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button too. So the first rule and the first part of being able to simplify algebraic expressions is knowing how to collect like terms. So as you can see here uh, in my two examples, I've got 2y plus 7y. Now the whole point in collecting terms and uh, and algebra is to make things more simple. So here, 2y plus 7y, I don't need to have that. It's, it's far too long. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the 2y and the 7y together, and I'm going to express that as 9y instead. Similarly, with this one here, we've got 6x take away 2x. Again, there's no point in me having that because they're both x. They're both the same. So I'm going to put those two together. So if I have 6 and I'm taking away 2, I'm going to call it 4x instead. So another slightly more complicated example of that collecting terms together would be this here. So I've got 6d plus 5d take away 2d. So if I was to collect those together, okay, I would have 6 and 5. That makes 11 but then I've got take away two. So it would be 11 take away two. And so that would then make all of those 9D. So I can simply, I can simplify it by saying 9D. So hopefully so far you found that really easy and you're understanding it, but I promise you it does get harder. Now in all of the examples that we've looked at so far, there's only been one term involved. So there's only been X in the question or there's only been Y in the question. Now in this example here, we actually have two terms. We have X and we have Y. So what happens there? So in this example, we've got two X plus X plus three Y plus Y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this by collecting the terms like I did at the beginning of the video. So 2x and x, if I put them together, I've got 3x, okay? And then if I've got 3y and y, I've got 4y. And because there's a plus sign here in the middle, I'm going to also keep it a plus. So now see how I've simplified this um, to be 3x plus 4y. So this next example is similar to the one that I did previously. Um, but in the next example, we're going to be getting a little bit more difficult. So here I've got two terms again. I've got I and I've got J. So I'm going to be collecting the terms and I'm going to be making it uh, simpler to understand. So I'm going to start with the I first, because remember, it must be alphabetical order when we write the answer. So I've got seven. I've got negative seven I take away five I. OK, so I've got negative 7i take away 5i. So negative 7 take away 5 is going to give us um, negative 12i. And then I've got plus 3j take away 6j. So if I've got positive 3j and I'm taking away 6j, that's going to leave me with negative 3j. That bit might have confused you, so, so I'll just explain that a little bit more. So I've got, I had positive 3j, and then I had negative, or take away 6j. So I had 3j 
take away 6 gives me negative 3, and that negative part is going to be the take away. So if I've simplified this, it's going to be negative 12i take away 3j. And that is that expression simplified. So in this next example, we've gone another step further. We've gone a little harder. Now what we have is we have two different terms. So we have a and we have c. And we also have just some regular numbers uh, that aren't a term. So again, when I write my answer, I'm going to put a first, then I'm going to put c, and then I'm going to finish with the regular number. So that's the order in which we must write answers in algebra. So I'm going to start with the a's, and then I'm going to do the c's, and then I'm going to do the regular numbers. So if I start with the a's, I've got 8a plus 9a. So 8a plus 9a gives me 17a. Then I'm going to go to the c's. So I've got negative 2c plus 7c. So if I've got negative 2c, add 7, gives me um, 5 c then i've got now i'm going to deal with the regular number so i've got plus six take away uh 12. so if i've got plus six take away 12 that's going to so i've got plus six and i'm going to take away 12 that's going to give me negative six equals now to decide what operation goes in here i'm going to have to go back a step because i missed it so I had 5c, so I had negative 2c, and then I added 7c. So I've now gone to a positive 5c. Okay, so that expression simplified is 17a plus 5c take away 6. So the next stage in simplifying algebraic expressions is the introduction of powers. So in this first example, I've got uh, squared numbers. And then I've got cube numbers in this next question here. Now, the next rule that we need to learn is that when you have, have questions like this, we must write um, the, the powers, the highest power first. So if, if we have a question, which we will do next, where we have squared and cube numbers, the cube number would be written first in the answer and then the squared number because cubed is a higher power than the squared number. But anyway, let, before we get to that stage, let's just complete these two. These are quite straightforward. So we have 4c squared, add c squared, take away 5 plus 7. So I'm going to deal with the regular numbers last, and I'm going to go with the c. So I've got 4c squared, add c squared. That's easy. That just makes 5c squared. And then I've got negative 5 add 7 so if i've got negative 5 add 7 that's going to give me plus 2 and then this question here i've got 10 u cubed take away 8 plus 5 u cubed take away 8 so i'm going to deal with the u numbers first so i've got 10 u cubed plus 5 u so plus 5 u cubed that gives me 15 u cubed and then I've got negative 8 take away 8. So negative 8 take away 8 gives me negative take away 16. So in this final example we have only one term we have well actually we have two terms because we have a uh, cubed and we have a squared and then we also just have some regular numbers. So remember what I said in the st previous step the highest power which is the cubed, will be written first, then the squared, and then the regular numbers in the answer. It's really important that you get the order correct. So I'm going to start with the cube numbers first, because they're the highest power. So I've got plus a cubed, and then I've got nine plus 9a cubed. So that gives me 10a cubed. Now I'm going to deal with the squared numbers. So I've got 6a squared and I've got plus a squared. So that gives me plus 7a squared. And then I've just got, 
my two regular numbers. So I've got plus two, add nine, which is plus 11. So that was the complete guide to simplifying algebraic expressions. We started off easy and then we got a little bit harder, a little bit harder, a little bit harder. Hopefully you stuck with it all the way through. Well done to you if you did. If you did learn something in this video, then please hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And hopefully I'll catch you in the next video.